Entertainment Tea Room. And joining me is Judy Wyatt to talk a little bit about some of the treasures and really the treasure of your business, which this is a really neat place. Thank you. Thank you. We love it. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about um, the how or, or why it's so important to have antiques here in town and why you've made this a part of your business. Okay. Um, the previous owners just had totally transformed what was formerly a hardware store into an antique business. And um, it's antiques are important to the older group because they see things that remind them of when they were children. But I also recently read that younger people are beginning to appreciate the beauty and the, the essence of an antique because they realize the history that goes with it. So um, it's, it's kind of making a comeback, if you will, because people are realizing that they can do a lot of things. Uh, retro is kind of coming back into decorating and that sort of thing. Well, I was going to say the older generation calls it antique and the younger calls it retro. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly. Or vintage. Vintage, yes, vintage is, is also. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. And I think he's getting a shot of our vintage clothing over there right now that yeah. we, we have plenty of hats and um, like old fur coats, mink stoles, and that sort of thing, and those are popular with the younger generation. So um, that's that's just something else that we offer in addition to uh, obviously all the other things that you would expect in an antique store, like furniture and um, just whatnot sure. things and kitchen items, that sort of thing. Well, that's part of the adventure of antiquing, right, is that you come into a store right. and you explore and you never know what you're going to find. Right, right. And it's always interesting for me as the owner to see the things that people come up and buy. Sometimes it's things that I didn't even know were in the store. <laughs> and it's, sometimes it's things that I think, gosh, I don't know what they're going to do with it. But if they want it, that's great. It was here. So, you know, they can do what they want with it. Was there anything weird that comes to mind that you're like, oh, wow? Um, Probably for me, the oddest is the um, dentist chair that we have over on the other side. And and I don't know who will buy that, but it is there for sale if somebody's looking for one. And so. like we said, you never know what you're going to find. That's exactly <laughs> right. That's exactly right. So you pulled a couple of other goodies here to kind of show off. Tell me a little bit about this. This is from the, the vintage clothing. And um, the owner of the antiques put together a little ensemble here. You would have this dress and maybe this retro purse. Yeah. And the hat to go with it, and if you put those three items together, it would be about seventy-five dollars. So that that's kind of a neat, um, just a little ensemble there that sure. you could put together. And then um, we also have this chair that is she wasn't sure the exact history or the age, but it's a, it's at least a hundred years old. We well, do, you, we do you, know that. Oh, I was gonna say yeah, with the cane seating, and you right. can tell with the shape right. and the woodwork here yes. that yeah, that's wonderful. And then we also have things that aren't necessarily old. This is just kind of a fun little pillow, um, mirror mirror on the wall. <laughs> age doesn't matter after all. So that's that's you know we have items of whimsy in here too, as as they like to call them. So how fun is that? Because people come from out of town to to visit your business. It's fun. It, it's, I'm having a great time doing this and, and visiting with people every day. We have people from out of town and it's great. And I bet they're having a good time they too. Are. Yeah. Judy, thanks so much for giving us a little tour here. Coming up at five